Hey guys. Okay, this is what you're going to need for the Mexican Suns. You can use a plate or regular paper, a ruler. You don't really need a ruler, but we have one just for the beginning of this. Some markers or crayons or watercolors or whatever you want to use to color your sun. And then a pencil with no eraser. We're going to try to do this without erasing today. All right, let's get started. I'm going to take my pencil and ruler and draw a straight line down the middle of the plate to divide it in two halves. Now I'm doing a warm side and a cool side to my sun, but you can do one complete warm sun with, um, well, it doesn't even have to be warm. You can do one complete sun and not split it in half. So we're gonna start off with this side and I'm going to draw a curved line going up and down like a rainbow for the top of the eye and then a curved line underneath for the bottom of the eye. And this is forming a shape of an almond or a football. I'm gonna go ahead and draw the same thing on the other side. Curved line going up. And then another curved line underneath. So I have two eye shapes. I'm going to draw a circle in that shape for the iris and then a little dot or a smaller circle for the pupil of the eye. This next part, um, these lines are really just for decoration. You don't have to add these if you don't want, but I'm adding some extra curved lines for eyelids and then another long curved line here I'm going to bring it all the way down towards the middle to form the nose. I'm going to go ahead and complete this half. I'm going to add a circle, which is a, a round curved line starting at one point and you bring that curved line to meet the starting point. That's going to be my cheek for the sun and now I'm working on the lips. I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line going out, a curved line underneath that with the ends touching, and then another curved line going up to meet those ends. And that made a top lip and a bottom lip for me. So let me come to the other side and draw another curved line above the eye for the eyelid. And then that long curved line going down for the nose. And as you can see, the two sides do not look perfectly even. That's okay. We're going to be coloring the whole thing. So it does not have to look exactly the same. Remember to do that slightly wavy line for the top lip, a curved line to separate the top from the bottom and then another curved line for the bottom lip. All right, so my face pretty much looks complete. Doesn't matter about that little mistake on the eye, it's okay. Let me add the circle for my cheek. And there you have it. You have your eye, the shape of the eye, which is like a football, the curved line for the nose. And now we're gonna work on the outer part of the sun. So I'm tracing that line around the plate that forms the circle. I made one circle. I'm gonna make a second one slightly above that first line. Take your time with this part so that your line stays even and straight. If you make a mistake, it is okay. We're gonna be coloring this. So continue to draw your line. You can turn your plate to make it a little easier and make that line meet at the starting point. 
can't. So I have an outer circle and now I'm gonna make an inner circle. I'm doing the same thing, going around the whole plate, making a second circle that's slightly closer to the sun's face. And now I have two layers of circles. Okay, and then this last part that I'm gonna draw out are the triangles that kind of represent the sun's rays. And I'm gonna take these triangles all the way around the plate, taking my time so it doesn't come out sloppy. And notice that I'm doing one triangle at a time and not a zigzag line. So that's my final triangle. And now it's starting to look more like a Mexican sun. We have both sides complete. Now it is time to put our pencil down and start adding color. I'm gonna be using markers so it's nice and vibrant and bright. We're gonna start off with the warm colors and red, yellow, and orange, or red, orange, yellow. These are our warm colors and you usually see them during a sunset or when something is associated with warm or hot things. And I'm gonna use these colors for the whole half of this inside of the plate, not the triangles, but just the inside of the face. You don't need to use these colors in any particular order. This is just my design. And I'm gonna start filling in these sections with color and designs trying to use all of my warm colors for this side of the face. All right, so you can use your imagination for this. You don't necessarily have to watch me fill out the whole thing. Ta-da! Here's my warm side. I filled in the lips, the cheek, the whole half of the face, and then I added some patterns at the bottom. As you can see, I have lines and circles, I have triangles, I have half circles and dots, just to add a little design. And now I'm going to outline everything on this half of the plate. I'm separating my colors and I'm outlining with a black marker Outline basically means trace over the lines that you see on your paper. And this kind of makes the colors pop. Take your time on this so that you stay on the line. I'm gonna add a few little dots around this cheek. for an extra design. Outline everywhere where you have a line, separating the two colors. All right, looks pretty good. Let me outline the eye. And these sections down here. Taking my time so I stay within the lines. Okie dokie. So that half of the sun is done. Now we're gonna work on the cool side. 
So my cool colors are blue, purple, and green. Those are the cool colors, blue, purple, and green. And then of course we need black to outline. But I'm gonna start with uh, the inside of the eye and I'm gonna make it exactly the same as I did the, the warm side. My son has brown eyes just because I have brown eyes and I want to use that color. Your son can have blue eyes, green eyes, pink eyes, whatever color you want. That is totally up to you. Again, one of the expectations is that you're gonna be creative. So you don't have to use the same colors for everything I did on my son. We are gonna stick with warm colors or cool colors though. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline that and then start adding the color and designs with my cool colors. And one trick to help you um, stay in the lines and color neatly is to outline the section first. So trace over the line and then start coloring inside that line. And remember to color in one direction. I'm going to stay in this up and down motion until I cover up the whole section. We don't want to go side to side and then up and down in the same section. Try to color in one direction. Okay, ta-da! So I have my warm side and my cool side with the designs at the bottom. Now I'm gonna start on the outer circle. And we're gonna start by tracing my circle with a marker, with a black marker. Go all the way around nice and slow so you stay on that line. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little design in this start in this um, outer rim of the circle. And it's really just a zigzag line, but it's creating triangles in this little rim. But you have to make sure your zigzag line touches both lines in order for it to create the triangle, the triangles. I'm gonna take this all the way around the plate here so you can see better. Make sure you're turning your paper as you go so you can draw your lines easier. And be sure to take your time so your work looks nice and neat. Okay, done with that part. Now I'm going to outline this second line. Same way I did the first one. I'm gonna go all the way around, nice and slow so I stay on that line.
You can move your paper to make it easier for you to go around. And I came back to the top to finish off the circle. Uh oh, it's okay. All right, in this layer, I'm going to do circles. And go ahead and color them in. These circles are going to go all the way around my sun. Bam, look at that. So I have my circles going around.